This is what we're here to mark the grand opening for. We are doing what we call our Water Peace Transition Center. The compound that's going to come in here is going to have about five buildings or three main buildings. The uh, one in the center is the main lodge. The main lodge is the most important building on the facility because that is where the work is done to change lives. There are too many complaints about the traditional ways to do things and so we built a program that's going to happen here by sending vets to other programs, debriefing them when they came back and making the modifications the veterans said needed to happen, not some clinician in a white coat in a laboratory. What I did, I did because it's my duty to do. Good for you. I'm here to tell you, nobody's blowing up roadside bombs, nobody's getting shot, nobody's getting hit with pieces of their friends in a laboratory. The answer will not be found there. It will be found in the hearts and minds of the people that lived it, and without their voice, it will not be fixed. That is my opinion. Forgive my passion when I talk to those things, but I, but I believe we cannot escape them, and I believe those, those insights are very often void to the people doing the research. How many people here have, have felt the overpressure from an explosion? How many doctors do you think have felt the overpressure from an explosion? How many people have heard the crack of a bullet go by? How many people have felt it go so by so fast that they could feel the vibration of the way the bullet spun from the rifling? I'll bet none of the doctors have. And there is a huge difference in PTSD when you run to the problem and you willingly run to the problem again the next day and you do that every day for a year. Then there is when it happens to you once and it comes to you in the form of tragedy. Those things aren't the same and somehow they've been blurred and the veterans have been lost in the shuffle and, and this is where it has to be fixed. We have to do this. The vets demand it. We cannot allow another 22 people to be lost because the people that are supposed to help the veterans don't understand the veterans. It can't be tolerated anymore. The road forward has to come from us and it will start here. freedom. There you go. But that's the main building where it starts. We have started the process of building partnerships to try to figure out how to fund this project. The uh, We have an engineering firm in Cincinnati that is going to donate one of the buildings. We have the, the fiscal capacity currently to buy one of the smaller buildings and we are in discussions with some people that are going to help us raise the money for the bigger buildings. I have no regrets. Would you go back and do it again? Absolutely. No regrets. 300 and some faces at this point have, have cast a shadow on the door. About 40% of them were suicidal and every single one of them is alive. And I, I am proud as can be of the people that helped make that happen. Very nice.